Hello, beautiful ones and crafty friends. Welcome. This is RJ. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today I'm here to share with you, um, as I mentioned in my um, first video back, I had talked about me sharing some projects that I needed to complete. Well, here's my first one. Um, I started on this. Um, this is actually one that I started about a month ago, and I want to complete it. It's a Kathy Orta's, um, I'm sorry, Kathy King um, project, uh, Paper Phenomenon. And it's an 8x8 everyday mini. And um, I just created the album for right now. Um, most of her projects are um, great. Um, she, If I had to rate them, you would have a beginners, an intermediate, an advanced. And this is one of those intermediate advanced ones but she does have others and as I share her um, her projects I will um, I will elaborate more on that and say which one is if it's a hard one if it's an easy one something like that okay so you guys will be able to check them out and I also try to leave the links um, to the projects um, that you can um, purchase them if you like to as well um, <clears throat> so let's get started so this one, the papers that I used are Tattered Time and um, Timeless by um, Die Cuts with a View. And once I um, finish with it, I'll come back and I'll share with the papers and everything. Because um, my biggest issue is that this one didn't come with embellishments. So that's why it's going to take me a little bit longer for this one. But my other ones, um, I pretty much try to um, buy kits that have uh, embellishments, um, trim, washi tape, brads, um, because in her projects that all that stuff um, works well within, within the mini album. But let me stop rambling. So this is the mini and I'm not for sure you guys can see it because this is an 8x8 and my, um, I don't have a high, um, how would you say? I have one of these um, flip cams and it can only go so high until I um, figure out my um, craft space. But this is an 8x8 and um, it has a pocket here and um, what you see here that I haven't used, um, it belongs inside. And um, what I love about her new um, mini albums that she's created is that they lay flat. So as you see here, it lays flat. Perfect. No problem with it. Like some of them, some of them um, kind of lay, rise up like that. This doesn't. But like I said, I'm not finished. But I wanted to share with you what I've done so far. So let you know that this is what I'm working on. And once I finish it, I'll come back and do a review of the whole thing. But I love the project um, all together because with hers, I love the folds and flips and things like that. It's very interactive. And um, lately, she's been doing her projects so that they're more... Um, you pretty much can be like self-explanatory. Um, for example, um, here's one where I haven't finished, but you will put... Here, let me slide it over. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm still, I'm still um, not good at video, so please pop, so please forgive me. Don't, don't um, cuss me out. So this is, the, um, this is the left side of the book. And we have um, flaps here and places to put photos. Um, I haven't decided yet because the way she had um, done it, that this has a little um, belly band and, and it kind of keeps it secure, but I haven't decided on that part yet. And then we have a flap, a pocket here, which I love. Again, it's not finished, it's magnetized. And you can put um, 4x6s and 5x7 photos in this little um, pocket here with the acetate. And I apologize for the glare. And I have two pockets, which again, I said it's not complete. Then we have another place for photos. Then we have another pocket and places for photos and journaling. Then you flip it and it repeats itself. It's like the beginning of the other one. And then we have a pocket. Two flat pockets. More places for journaling. It's a beautiful um, constructed album, you guys. And um, for me, I'm so um, 
I'm so self-conscious about my work. And um, even though hers looks so nice, <clears throat> I still have um, issues with mine. But um, again, I will come back and share with you um, the papers that I use and things once I'm done. And I think this, oh, and what's so cool about it, you see all these flaps and, and pages, it's only three hinges here. This book only has one, I'm sorry, one, two, three hinges. And look at all that space there. And I'm hoping to fill it so you guys can see what it looks like because I know a lot of people are very visual and, and seeing um, um, projects come to life. And I'm going to um, put photos in there so you guys can um, check it out that way as well. And um, here's the front. Um, my problem is, is with this, um, a lot of this paper that it cracks. And, you know, um, I don't know what to do with that. I, I made a mistake and forgot to put my um, tie back. Because that sometimes helps. But um, a lot of papers, especially specialty papers, you have to be very careful with that. For example, see this with the gloss and stuff? You can't make, you can't use this as a spine because this was definitely end up with all these cracks here. So when you have papers like this, it's best to use as your matting and things like that. So you can see the pretty paper. And, um, you know, it not being all um, cracked. Alright, so this is the Everyday Life 8x8 Mini. And um, if you would like, just leave a comment. And I'll remember try to remember to put the link to this project and the, um, the designer so you guys can check it out. Thanks so much for watching. As always in party, I wish you peace, love. And blessings. Until our next time, take care. Bye for now.